Good evening and welcome to Omni Bros Live. I'm one of your co-hosts, Omni Dog, along with whoa, <laughs> Gio, <laughs> a week in geekdom. Gio, how's it going, buddy? Uh, excited to be here. Had a weird kind of funky day, but it's all better because I know it's Monday. A lot of people are tuning in. And uh, yeah, we get to talk comics and have fun with wonderful people in the chat and wonderful co-hosts. We're wonderful. We're both yeah. wonderful. So uh, things were weird at work? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's kind of crazy. Sometimes it's a little chaotic. Sometimes it's just super mellow and chill. Today was sort of in the middle. <laughs> mm. Well, I'll tell you where it's always great. That's InStockTrades.com, where you can get your collect <laughs> Your collected editions up to 50% off. Loyalty discounts add 2% to that. The end of the month, there's always a $50 gift card that we give away from In Stock Trades. They're kind enough to give us that to give away to a lucky viewer out there. You. $50 or more in an order in the United States that gets you free shipping. Fabulous customer service, fabulous packaging. That's in stocktrades.com. Music to my ears. Here's some music. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Tolga. How's it Tolga. going? Good to see you in the chat. Nice. All the chat regulars are here. That's awesome. I love it. That's great. I see a new name, Rick Lightborn. I don't believe I've seen him before. How's it going, Rick? Good How's to have you. How's it going, buddy? Uh, Maxime's here. Haven't seen him in a long time. How's it going, buddy? Good to see mm -hmm. you. Good to yep. see you. I hauled something really cool. I sort of see it. That uh, Look at that. The bat. Look there at that. That is extremely awesome. Yeah, I wasn't in even in the market, really, until I went on the Omni Folks Gaming Corner, or whatever it is, and Josh had Josh Phelps, I think, uh, had one that he was showing off and said there was a sale at Secret Labs, and I had been needing a new chair for a long time. And there was a sale, and I had no idea how comfortable these were. <laughs> <laughs> now you can sit on the throne, if you will, in the oh, back cave. Goodness, these are so comfortable. <laughs> you look like you're in a seat of power right now. That is awesome. <laughs> My wife calls it the control center or <laughs> main center, something like that. It was really easy to put together. And super professionally packed. It's about time, Jess. I'm proud of you. <laughs> um, I appreciate that. Um, bath throne. Uh, best chair ever. Yeah, it really is. It's got a nice lumbar support that it came with. It's very comfortable. It's got a... Awesome. Did I steal that chair from Omar? No, but I did show it to him and Tyler Blunt because they both had them too. I got the, Rick Nelson asks, I got the Omega. I am, um, the Titan is for people that uh, are taller than I am. I'm 5'10". And so the Omega fit me better, I think. This thing is perfect for me. And the way it was packaged is like they had engineers package it. Everything came in a little compartment. Yeah. Oh, yay. I have an extra 50 <laughs> years. Uh, everything comes in a little compartment. The instructions were really easy. Um, it was packaged so well. And this thing is just incredibly well built. Nice. So thank you, Crash, for mentioning my T-shirt, too. Oh, shirt game is strong tonight. You got some Batman action. And my right boy, uh, Zaz. Pointing it out, man in black. Hell yeah. He's awesome. I love Johnny Cash. Yep. Uh, the website I got it from is Secret Labs, Spencer. 
Secret Labs. And they're having a sale. That's why it's a big deal right now because I think they only have a sale once or twice a year. Yeah. Uh, and that's why I acted on it. They also have the Joker chair. If you're feeling villainous, you can get that one too. Yeah, the Joker chair was there. I I really didn't want the, what is this, faux leather or whatever it is. I wanted, but this is the one that came with the bat symbol. Oh, let me highlight you again. Yep. So I had to have this. Yeah, that's perfect for the bat cave yeah. collection. So the other... Um, was a different fabric that I think is probably better, but it didn't come with a bat on it. So you know, it'd be cool if you could get the uh, Omni Dog, the Dread Dog logo on the pillow or the badge. There you go. <laughs> let me <laughs> let me highlight that. Oh, okay. There you go. That's the, awesome. The Dread you, badge. You are the law. I am the law. Uh, somebody saying, oh, n Man 40. Oh, I'm working on a root beer bottle collection. I currently have 12 individual bottles. Retro Rebel, where are you from? That's interesting. That's a cool collection. That is. Are you, are you in the U.S. or are you in like Europe or Australia or someplace? I'd be interested in that, finding out what, uh, what kind of root beer you're trying. Uh, n Man 40 says, Maddie's chair broke and she had to buy a new one. I think she had it less than a year. I have an extra warranty on it because I posted it on Instagram. So they gave, so I have a four year warranty on it. So, oh, you're welcome. What did I recommend? Everything. I don't know. <laughs> Everything. What is up, everyone? Um, I like this. Can you send Omar a few Batman shirts because he gave Batman six out of 10 for being a detective? Does he deserve Batman shirts for that line? <laughs> I mean, I does so. he really deserve them? No. He also loves Batman Year Two. This is not a Batman fan. He's not a, a Batman fan. No. He's a conflicted Batman fan. Yeah, I'm not sending him Jack. <laughs> I'm sending him a, a receipt for all the things he stole from me. <laughs> um, Pro Rebel is from Little Elm near Dallas, Texas. Oh, okay. Well, you should have access in Dallas. You should have access to all kinds of interesting root beer. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, Flow Mo, smart to get the warranty. Thank you. It came with a two-year one, but if you release a picture and tag them on social media, they give you an extra two years. Really? That's cool. And weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jill or Jess, going for that special something is killing the children slipcover deluxe edition? Are you? I am. For sure, yeah. I already ordered it. Or the re-release of the Yuzagi Yojimbo slip cover set from Fanatic Graphics. I have uh, the original hardcover box set from Fanatic Graphics. Mm. So I'm keeping that. However, I recommend everyone to get that thing because it seems to go in and out of print a lot. Yeah. If you're interested in Yuzagi as I need to start reading more of it, um, you should get this. Uh, yeah, and I pre-ordered Something is Killing the Children slipcover about two weeks ago. Nice. What up, Bat Jesus? Uh, yeah, send it to him anyway, so Batman's ready. <laughs> He's oh. a customer, that Omar. Got your yeah. recommendations, Jess. Boylan is my favorite. Yeah, it's good. Sprecker second. Haven't tried Frost Top yet. Um, while we're on the subject of root beer, if you can get it, the absolute best, and I always forget it because it's in such limited supply, it's made here in Virginia. It's called Dominion Root Beer. By far the best root beer I have ever tasted. By far. Really? I highlight that on a root beer video interesting uh yeah so uh yeah boylan's good and sprecker's great but if you can try and get your hands on dominion mm. promised one pre-ordered this yuzagi slipcase smart mm. k 
Casey oh. got them at Rocket Fizz. We have one of those around here, too. Apparently, they're a franchise of soda pop shops and candy. They stock. I haven't been to ours yet. Uh, the um, because the pandemic, but there is one close to me, and apparently they stock all kinds of soda and retro candy, which Ooh. I love both of those. So I need to get to Rocket Fizz. Uh, thank you, Fred, for that question. That would either be Barks. Uh, I pour back when I was pouring root beer on books that I didn't like. <laughs> the dark it times. Be, <laughs> it would either be uh, Barks or Diet A and W. Those are the two worst. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the Lionheart. I have the Omega. The Titan is for taller people. I, I wanted the Overwatch chair that they have, but uh, they don't ship to my area, so I can't get it. <laughs> uh, have them ship it to me, and I'll ship it to you. Oh, but that's super expensive. Come on. Well, do you want the chair or not? <laughs> it's not a priority right now, so mm. I'm good. <laughs> but, yeah, that's always an option. Uh, let's see. Ginger beer yeah. is for Moscow Mule, nothing else. I like ginger beer, just plain. And there's Gabe the Babe. Sorry. What up? What up? What up? What <laughs> up, dude? How's it going? Good to have you. It's all good. Yep. I, I'm here, here, everybody. Now the party can start. That's so. right. Start dropping the French fry gifts. I couldn't even figure out how to do it on Thursday. I'm so lame. <laughs> uh, Retro Rebel, it's okay if you like barks. That uh, taste. Everybody's taste is different. That's okay if your taste is wrong. That's <laughs> what Jess is trying to say. No, no, no. <laughs> if you like Barks, that's great. It just doesn't appeal to me. But if you love it, drink it. I, it's the same with comic books, movies, albums, everything. If you dig it, drink it. I cast no aspersions on you. I just want you to drink root beer. Any root beer. Preach. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm pro root beer. Uh, James, I will be doing that. Uh, I only care about Nintendo. Uh, on my gaming channel, uh, I'll try and upload as quickly as possible uh, tomorrow after the uh, Nintendo presentation. So Geo's Arcade, if you want to follow me in there, uh, I'll do something. I don't know what yet. So, yeah. I will I think you three what's going on. Wow. Yeah, tomorrow's the last day with the Nintendo presentations, like 40 minutes of games being announced. You saw you said that Xbox had the best presentation so far. Oh, Was that today? In my opinion, yes. By far, out of everything since uh, Friday, Xbox killed it, in my opinion. I they need some great. news. Wow. I need some news. Well, usually Sony kicks ass, but Sony... Uh, Sony's not participating anymore in E3. What? They're doing their own separate thing. They, they oh, want to be... Oh. Yeah. They're, they're doing the Disney thing. We got our yep. own convention. Yep. Screwed San Diego yeah. Comic Con. Yeah. But uh, Halo is coming this year. The multiplayer is going to be free. And every, everybody can download it and play it. Um, I don't know if you need the subscription or the Game Pass or whatever, but I know it's free. And the actual game is the one that you'll buy uh, late uh, November, I think. Something like that. Uh, that sure. might make you buy an Xbox if they come out with Halo. Like that's that's a must-have game. Am yeah. I a bad gamer if I'm tired of Halo? Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> here's the thing: they announced uh, like I don't know how many original IPs because Microsoft has spent so much money buying up studios, uh, Bethesda, for example, and they just announced so many. Uh, games, it's insane. New properties, older stuff. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Mm. And with Game Pass, it's like the Netflix, I guess, of gaming where you pay the subscription and you can play any game you want, day one, download it, play it. You don't like it, just delete it and move on to the next one. So wow. a lot of people are, are doing that. Um, and uh, That sounds exciting. Yeah. I, I don't have one. Kind of tempted to, but then again, I already have the PlayStation 5. I'm like, do I need another high-end system? The yeah. answer is yes. You do. Like, I'm in no rush, but I'll probably get it. Uh, I love all the you do. You do need it. Yeah. 
I uh, I don't know. I'm just sort of I played every Halo there is so far. Yeah. And I feel like it's the same now. So I'd like I mean I'll get a new Xbox. But I I want some a different first person shooter. This I'm not supposed to say it on a live stream, but if you get the Series X or S or whatever they're called, uh, they are an emulation powerhouse. And you can practically emulate almost every other console. But you did not hear that from me live on this show. Also, Jess, if you want to play a first person shooter that has to script, uh, that has other games with it, you know, like part one, part two, part three, like there's a series of franchise games, and none of them are like the, the previous one, mm. you should try Call of Duty. Uh, Call of Duty. <laughs> what? Is there a joke there? Because Call of Duty is literally the same game, the same game. but just oh, like you're, yeah. you're paying sixty dollars for like new maps, basically, yeah. and some old maps or just redone versions of old maps. I played. Maybe it wasn't Call of Duty. I thought I played one a while ago. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, the cat's out of the bag there. Uh, Thank you, Rafael. I, I felt like I played a Call of Duty where it was the Pacific Theater and. It had Japanese soldiers popping up out of uh, foxholes that had grass over them. Was that not Call of Duty? Maybe that was a different game. It was mm -hmm. when I first encountered it was scary as hell because you're you're gunning around and then all of a sudden a Japanese soldier starts shooting at you from this pop up foxhole. That could be one of the Call of Duty games. There's also one where oh, you could uh, burn them out of a tree with a uh, flamethrower. Ooh, I like the sound I don't of that. Which one that was? But yeah. Gabe, do you have a new cam, or is my Wi-Fi working better than usual? You look 4K. Uh, it might be your Wi-Fi. It might be my Wi-Fi. I don't have it. It's the same old camera that's been on this uh, iMac since I bought it. But I'm glad I look better. <laughs> also, Gabe, you still pre-ordering the four-player X-Men tomorrow? Is that tomorrow? I thought that was in July. I thought it was July. I didn't know it was tomorrow. Okay. Uh, I want to. Do it. Do I mean, it. will? Uh, I don't know. I, it depends on how much it's going to be because mm -hmm. I still want that uh, Marvel fighting game when that's out. But that's like 500 bucks because it Is has a riser and has a stand. Hmm? That's also an arcade cabinet? Yeah, it's another one of the, those one up arcades. Ooh. But it has like all the fighting games on it, which is sweet. Oh. There's a bunch that. Me and Gio looked at yesterday that has like Dark Stalkers and all the cool Capcom games and Killer Instinct. Like they're really pumping out like Simpsons. They're really, uh, they're making these really hard to uh, resist. To say no to exactly. <laughs> that looks really boss. Oh, so that's a four player. A four yeah. player it's for me and three of my not friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it has. I, I think it has Wi-Fi, doesn't it? Yeah, it does have uh, Wi-Fi, so you can play live with other people, I guess. I don't know. Wow. You could be like me when I was a kid. I would put a quarter in every one of the slots to play all four of the characters at the same time. <laughs> at the same time? <laughs> yeah. When, when I was visiting Riley, we went to uh, this toy museum, and they had uh, arcade games, and he and I played each other in a bunch of different arcade games. We just stumbled upon it, and we stayed there for about two hours playing all these arcade games in this toy museum. That's, That's awesome. cool. It was awesome in Austin. We just stumbled on it. Uh, oh, I like Virtual Rebels. The yeah, Simpsons one is lie. great, dude. I can't wait for that one, too. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, PlayStation fan, but I also have an Xbox. Yeah, I used to work for PlayStation. And then I would go home and play Xbox 360 all night long. I just <laughs> play Gears of War all night long with my friends from work, go to work, talk about PlayStation, and in between phone calls, talk about how awesome Gears of War is. Gears of War was great. I played I, the first two. They're amazing. I love I was talking about that earlier today with people at work, how great those Gears of War games were. I love those games. Uh, Yut X7, the answer is yes. At 821. 100% yes. Mm. Omnicat and I both reviewed it, and we both really dug it. You confused me. I thought you said Berserk. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. At first, I didn't. 
actually pay attention to it because I thought it was berserk and not in my knowledge realm. In your wheelhouse. And Retro Rebel, wheelhouse. again, brings something up. that The, the Rampage, uh, there's a... And the Turtles cabinet. That Turtles cabinet, I definitely want that Turtles cabinet. And uh, the Killer Instinct one we were talking about before, too. This stuff is... Man, that's going to be cool. But they're just... They're just get they price they're pricey, but worth it. Like one hundred percent worth it. Yeah, and you can also mod them and add other stuff if you if you want. So you get more mileage out of it if you do the mod. And but again, for educational purposes only. No, it's for stealing games. Who cares? This should be this is call it a <laughs> spade a spade. <laughs> Whoa! Don't be getting raises. No, I mean a shovel. I mean it's a shovel, right? Oh, all right. So, so we get Paul's previews and reads, right? Yep. That's today. What do you want to start with? Do you want to screw everybody up and start with previews, or will we lose all our viewers? Let's screw everybody up, and let's talk more about uh, one-up cabinets. That <laughs> That's fine with me. I love these things. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you. I'm going to just order I'm... from Target where I get a 5% discount because I got a red card. Mine, uh, the one I have is a uh, Gen 1 Asteroids cap because I got it at a uh, discount or clearance at Walmart for $65, something like what? that. I saw it online. Uh, somebody in one of the Facebook groups, I, I, I don't remember who it was, uh, sent me a picture of a receipt. Like, they're liquidating all these caps. I'm like, now's the time to get them because I'm not going to pay 400 500 bucks. Yeah. So I asked at uh, the local nearest Walmart, and they didn't even believe me. I'm like, "Here's the proof," and yeah. they scanned. They started scanning the cabs, and they're like, "Oh, you're right. It's actually on clearance for." It wasn't 65. I think it was 75. Uh, but still, I, I got it and I displayed proudly, and I bought it the thing, and I have you like hundreds of thousands of games. You want to see it? Yeah. All right. Let me turn on the geocam. Give me that. One just shows second. how. Ooh. How much of a markup those things have? If they can go and clear yeah. for fifty bucks, seventy-five bucks, and it the doesn't hurt. Cab right? has been on sale before for like a hundred fifty, something like that. But I you, remember that during Black to, Friday, yeah, one year. That's in Torpedo. That's when I, I got the one. For, I got the the Turtles one from Torpedo and one of the uh, Marvel uh, beat 'em up games for Torpedo, and that was great because we would play it in the back, and we would play with guests. Like I played with Dan Slott and Ryan Otley on those games. Oh, that's uh, cool. With Jim Lee, so that's always cool. Did you bought them or Torpedo bought them? Torpedo bought them. I bought them with Torpedo money and put them together. Oh, okay. Are they still at Torpedo or did you take them? No, no, they're that they're no, they're back. They're still at Torpedo. They're not mine. I wish because that turtle game somebody mentioned yesterday. We were talking about yesterday when those things sell out and they go like out of print. They are like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. Wow. So. These are turtle fighting games? The turtle fighting game. Yeah, there's a new one that's coming out that we talked about yesterday, which is Turtles in Time. It's not a fighting game. It's a, it's a beat-em-up. Uh, but it has Turtles in Time and the original Ninja Turtle arcade on it, too, which is mm. an $800 game, apparently, off of Amazon. Whoa. So, all right, Gio, what do we got? Yeah, that's oh. the one. Turtle Mutant Ninja Turtle Time Arcade. That Give looks like boss. Check this out, Jess. Look at not, not this picture, this one. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. Oh, dude, that's a nice couch. That would look great. NECA, in my NECA has figures based on this game, which I really want. They're yeah. like 8 bit style turtles. They look amazing. And the, the control deck is glow in the dark. Wow. Uh, I want this. Still, those, uh, those images of those. Turtle suits are just nightmare fuel. They're pretty <laughs> awful. The collector, how many um, arcade cabinets do you have? Do, you uh, the collector, you seem to have like a lot of them. How many uh, do you have for there, Da? It's going to happen. I'm going to have to buy one. I have a whole, I have this huge loft. There's nothing in it. I want to turn it into like I think it'd be cool, but I could turn it into like. Gabe's Arcade. Oh, yeah. Collect all the quarters. Oh, yeah. I need like a, one of those. Remember the old arcades where the big fat guy would come out and he had the big quarter dispenser yeah. on his belly? And you give him a dollar <laughs> and be like, 
The collector has eight arcade cabinets. That's wow. awesome. That's boss. That is good stuff. Whoa, there we go. Look at that. Cam. <laughs> yeah, so this is modded, obviously, as you can see. Um, yeah. So I added a bunch of systems to this thing. And you did that yourself? Uh, there are tutorials on YouTube on how to do uh -huh. it, but yeah. Yeah, it can't be that hard. It's just so it was asteroid, so it has the spinning wheel. Um, I forgot what it's called. To oh play yeah, asteroids. Because here are the actual games that it comes with: Asteroids, Major Havoc, Lunar Lander, and Tempest. Tempest being my all-time favorite from Atari. Oh. And it didn't have uh, this thing with the buttons and joysticks and stuff. So I had to customize this. My dad helped me out and, and actually made this wood panel. It Whoa. was a really fun project. And inside it has a Raspberry Pi and you can add an SD card with all of the freaking games you want. Wow. So let's... Does it have Custer's Last Stand? <laughs> you can get it. I, I don't care for that game, but you can play it you here. Can if you can get want. that game? Yeah. <laughs> can we play Oregon Trail and Die of Dysentery? <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of turtles, let's see if this works. I don't think I knew you had this in your house. Since um, 2019, I think. Yeah. You've been holding out on us. <laughs> oh, yes. Can you hear that? Yeah, yeah. that music is rocking. And demonetized. <laughs> this song would totally be my intro music if I was a wrestler. Let it Let it Play a little. Oh, I always Donnie. pick Donnie. That's my yeah. favorite turtle. You need that range with the bow. Shut up. All right. Yeah. <laughs> How the heck do I play this with one hand? Uh, oh, crap. Where is, oh, there you go. Here's the, uh, we're doing some bootleg twitch here, son. Yeah, baby. That's the coolest thing you can throw them into the screen. Uh, what turtles game is this? This is in, is this turtles in time? Yeah, turtles. Okay, in okay. Time. What's that ball do? Uh, crushes you. Oh. Uh, the old ball and chain. It spends all your money and divorces you. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, there you go. Get away from Oh, I blew up. <laughs> this is awesome. At least I'm not getting stuck on some table like some other Omni Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for the table. <laughs> what up, Kenny? Welcome to the world. Uh, I want to get to Twitch the boss. On Twitch. See if I can get to the first boss. You need like a. Uh, like a tripod to put your phone on, and you can use two hands. Yeah, you're doing right. well with one hand. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. that can't be good. Dude, these games are so hard in the arcade. They were just, they were just quarter suckers. Or GoPro, like G. Scott says, yeah, get a GoPro on your head and just go to town. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. Oh. Pizza time. Yeah, get that pizza, full power. That's totally unfair. You could fly and he has a machine gun. And an orange afro. Totally OP. Oh, 
How the heck do I jump? It always brings back memories. <laughs> that Jesus says I got next. <laughs> nice. You gotta, you gotta line your quarter up, son. Get your quarter up there. Oh, he's blinking. You're getting close. Is this the boss? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is Baxter Stockman. Oh. Who, uh. They, they, they. I'm surprised nobody ever got mad that they changed his race uh, in, the, yeah. in the show. Or is it the comic book? Did you lose? Probably because no one knew. Oh. What was he originally? He's a he's a black guy. But in the cartoon, they made him a, a, a goofy white dude. Oh, they changed it for this game. In the well, the the comics, he was a black guy, and then everything after that, like the, the toys and the cartoon, uh, he was a just a goofy white dude with the orange afro. Got it. You yeah. did a good job, Geo. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a little bit of that. That's amazing. Good job, Jill. Nice job. That's uh, some 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 high. cool. <laughs> See if I can find the X Men game. There's a lot of X Men games here. Jill is holding the camera. He's playing this one handed. Yeah. You can see him in the reflection right there. Uh-oh, demonetized. Oh, yeah. Mm, takes a little while, some of them. There we go. Yeah, in the newer movies, they had Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry playing. And then in the more, not the most recent Nick series, but the, the Nick series before the current Nick series, which is awesome and is like the absolute best Ninja Turtles cartoon ever. Uh, they had him as a black guy too, I believe. I only know him from the IDW books. I don't, don't ever watch those movies. They're terrible. No live action ones. Live action what? The the new one, the new Turtle movies. The, uh, Michael, the Michael Bay ones? Yeah. I, I did like Robo Shredder, but that's about it. I like this game because it's based on the, the cartoon uh, Pride of the X-Men that introduced me to the X-Men. I also like that the Sentinels are tiny, the same size as Wolverine, which is <laughs> yeah. totally inaccurate, but cool. Yet X7, I'm glad that you have those Superman stories. That's cool. He says, I didn't realize until I saw your Batter Days video that I had five of your recommended Superman stories. Great stories. Thank you, Yet. Yet. As I'm eating my graham cracker because I thought Bill was coming in the game. You need some, you need some chocolate and marshmallows, man. <laughs> okay. All right. That was um, awesome. That was I think, awesome. I think the Blob's the first boss on that X Men game. Yeah. So I would get the new ones, but I'm okay with that, and because uh, it, it already has all the games. Yeah, you totally it, so, it. So I don't need one, but uh, the Simpsons one looks amazing. I like the I color. Really one. Yeah, it's the perfect cabinet color for the Simpsons. Uh, you need to <clears throat> look at the arcade one up Reddit. A lot of people post the receipts when they go on sale. So. Look on Reddit, and they sometimes put the code for Brick BrickSeek. I think that's the app oh, yeah. where you look on Target and, and other stores, and that can help you out big time. Good job, that's boss. So cool to have right there. So, uh, are we doing hauls? How do we Let's follow that up? I know Our show's <laughs> over, everybody. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> IST is yeah. our sponsor. Please visit them. I can go first if you want. Go. Um. I got Birthright Ooh. Volume 9. 
<laughs> I think they're up to 10 now. I think the 10 is the end, I believe. I hope I'm not spoiling anything. If I am, I don't care. But here's some <laughs> hard work from inside. I only I'm, read like the first three or four, so I'm, I have no idea what the hell's happening. I've read three nine, story. so it's okay. I just haven't read ten yet. Yeah, look at Iceman right there. Sweet. Um, some babies in the street. Yeah, really cool stuff. Uh, I got this thing. We oh, only yeah. find them when they're dead. From That's Al Ewing awesome. and Simone Di Mayo. That is a really good comic. What issues does that have in it? One through five. It's pretty thick for one through five. Yep. From Boom. Uh, looks gorgeous. I have. I really have no idea what this is about. All I know is it's Al Ewing. He does great in space, like when he did the Ultimates run. So I trust him, and the art looks phenomenal. So I'll, I'll, I'll give it a read soon. Yeah, I've heard nothing but great things about it. Is this? Yeah. The covers right there. Mm. Also, the cover for this, uh, I don't know if this is a girl or a dude or what, or an androgynous god, or I don't know what it is. Reminds me of um, Proxima Midnight. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Marvel. I don't know. And the last Is that a different cover, Jill? Someone's saying that they got a different cover for that Al Ewing book for Rafael Marina. I think the other one mm -hmm. has like yellow text all across the front cover, I think. There are two versions of this. Um, I don't know. And the last thing I got is the Death or Glory. Oh, oh, oh. sweet. From Rick Remender Prestige Edition. I got the uh, DCBS variant. I didn't realize that thing was so huge. Yeah. <laughs> 11 issues, if I remember correctly. Yep. That is Remender. Awesome. Um, and Bengal. That is such a good book. All kinds of awesome. I love Bengal's artwork. It's so anime and manga inspired. I love it. Speaking of manga, you didn't haul any manga this week? I do. I do have oh, manga. I, I don't have them here with me. Okay, good. I can go get them while you guys no, talk. Fine. It's good. I can show you the manga. Yeah, you see some manga. Yeah, I got something kind of manga esque too, so it'll be a little bit of a theme. Okay. All right. I also I'm got the book. I'm back. Oh, Sorry. nice. Everybody got that but me. I feel left out. <laughs> I got it too, Geo. Nice. So I, 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 both covers were great, but somehow that uh, I like that bits better. I always like getting the DCBS variant. Yeah. So I bought this from one of the members of the farm, uh, the uh, manga subgroup from the Facebook. Um, this is volume one. Maggie, Ma Ma Magi, whatever. So this is a manga version, uh, Shonen Jump style of um, all the Arabian tales like Sinbad, uh, Aladdin, all that stuff. Cool. I really like the anime of it, but it's ridiculously expensive to get the two Blu-ray sets. So I thought, you know what? I'll get the manga instead. It's cheaper, and it has fun artwork. And it's an, an, a great setting, unlike the rest of the manga that they're in feudal Japan or, you know, Japanese-centric. This is obviously inspired by a uh, tale of, uh, what's it called? The uh, 1,000 Nights or whatever? Arabian... Uh... 1,001 Nights. 1,001 Nights. There you go. Yeah. So there's Volume 1. Here's Volume 2. No, I wasn't uh, upset about that. <laughs> you like the spines, though. Oh, those would be nice. Very cool. Their theme. You That's see nice. the lamp right there? The genie lamp? And I got this from our wonderful sponsor in Stock Trades. This is... Dead Dead Demons, Dead 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 Destruction from Inio Asano, Volume 2. It's what now? What's the <laughs> name? That's the actual name. Dead Dead Demons, Dead Dead Dead, dead Destruction. <laughs> bo -bo 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 -bo. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Look at it. 
dead demons did 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 the destruction. I I don't know if I would have guessed real or fake on that. Yeah. I got boba bo bo. Bo 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 bo. Let me show you some of the uh, artwork, which is really cool. The Collector, yes. Uh, IST is where we got our DCBS variants. It's where I got mine anyway. So it's mostly a slice of life story and amidst uh, this UFO that lands on top of Tokyo. And uh, like society uh, gets chaotic, but you're following the lives of these uh, girls and their stories and all that stuff while the uncertainty of a giant freaking flying saucer is uh, invading, I guess, but they're not really doing anything. They're just there. So uh, it's, it's a crazy read. I don't know where the story's headed, but I do love Inio Asano and his artwork is really awesome. Yeah. So that's all I got. Awesome. Uh, two and three and Magi or Magi, Mag whatever, however you pronounce it. I think you can that's say Magi and be okay. All right. Cool. Really? Yes. What do you got, son? Uh, oh, I haven't pulled them out of this bag yet. <laughs> James says, can you say it five times fast? Dead, dead demons, dead, 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 destruction. Sounds like somebody with a stutter, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Maggie. Wait, this is the proper pronunciation is Magi. Sorry, I just remembered. What's that? Magi? Magi, yeah. I wanted to redeem myself as a weeb. Or a... Oh, your weeb credentials are solid. Oh, look at that live unboxing. I love it. <laughs> live unpackaging. From where? Our sponsor, InStockTrades.com. Okay. InStockTrades, InStockTrades. Okay, I'm ready. Hi. Uh, oh, what? what up? First, Batman 66? Yeah. Got Crypto the Super Dog? Because it's crypto? Because the rock. Oh, stop. <laughs> Don't bring the mood down for Jess. <laughs> <laughs> I have an open mind. Oh, Ace the Bat Hound is in this. I didn't nice. know that. This looks really... Oh, my gosh. Streaky and Crypto are both in it, and they're talking. Beppo the Super Monkey's in it. There's <laughs> Flash. Okay, th I'm reading this tonight. Streaky. Nice. Streaky's the cat. Oh, I thought that was my drunk uncle. <laughs> it could have been. So that's that. And I got Poison Ivy Thorns. Nice. I think this is a young adult book. <laughs> I was just laughing about the conversation we had in our chat earlier about how uh, the whole thing with heroes don't do that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's an odd. I don't know that I ever thought the comic books would be having that discussion. Yeah, ask Michael Douglas. <laughs> that's what he blamed it on, right? Yeah, you get the you get the Girl reference. Yeah, <laughs> I, I remember. Hoping, that. I was hoping somebody got that reference. I got it. Flash: The Death of Iris West. That's an awesome Stinger. cover. Is that Silver yeah, it, or what? Oh, you said, oh, yeah, that's uh, Ivy Rush, yeah. Uh, book two of Black Panther, I'm giving books one. I got one through three. I'm going to read all three and finally read it and see if I can enjoy a Black Panther story, which I haven't uh, been able to do yet. Good luck. Yes. James asks, did you ever watch the Crypto the Super Dog animated series? I don't think I did. What years... Did that come out, James? I didn't see it. But that's a good comment. Yeah. Um, and then I got the third story that um, Kristen got me into, Omnicat T-Dragon Tapestry. 
I love the colors on that. That's awesome. I got one and three, and then it turns two. Turns out two is badly out of print. I had to order it. Still hasn't come from some shop in Texas. Is that um, for seconds or? This is Oni. Oni Press. Oh, gotcha. Is it? Are they? Uh, did they ship it in media mail? I don't. I'm gonna have to check on that because it's been over two weeks since I ordered it. Because everything I have in the mail right now has just been delayed forever. For media mail. Just like whatever it is, even priority, uh, like first class. Oh wow! I got, some, I got some t-shirts coming in the mail that I've been waiting for for like two weeks, uh, and some comic books. Those are probably media mail, and I've been waiting forever for those too. And Death or Glory, Excellent. which I thought I wasn't going to upgrade, and I did. Very cool. Because I lied to myself and everybody else. Tales of the Dark Multiverse. Volume two. <laughs> totally true. I love that show. That show's great. I really love that show. Do you oh, see yeah. uh, the one woman was cast as Titanian? Uh, which woman? From from that show? From, from yeah. Yeah, The Good Place. Uh, she, uh, dang it. I forget the character's name. Was she the British gal? Yeah. Yeah, oh. the, uh, the the brown skin, beautiful, really woman. pretty one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thirty nine episodes. The series on Cartoon Network. I'll check that out, James. Thank you, Jamila Aliyah something. Jamila yeah. Jamil or something. Yeah, yeah. She's extremely attractive. She's gonna be Titania as the. She's gonna be the main villain in the She Hulk uh, Disney Plus show. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing everybody a favor and collecting Bounty Wars in trade paperback. Ooh. Tahani, that's right. Tahani, Tahani. Uh, so you're welcome because that means this is coming out in hardcover. I really want to read that. The Deadliest Bounty Hunters in the Galaxy. That's probably one of my favorite aspects of Star Wars. I love the Bounty Hunters. Ah. Yeah, I, I feel the same way about Star Wars. Give me anything that's not a lightsaber, it seems like. Oh, he's not Luke's, not Skywalker family related. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really care about the Skywalkers. Oh, what's going on in this scene? I want to read just to find out what's happening here. Some kind of surgery. Uh, DC Pride celebrating a parade of LGBTQIA+. That's a great cover. I love this cover. Yep. So, oh, yeah. Very yeah. topical to what we were talking about in our chat earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's Ivy in place. Yeah, like, oh, <laughs> heroes don't do that. Perfect time time of the year to, to dispute <laughs> that love. These heroes should do it. Yeah. For everybody listening, we're talking about Congolingus. <laughs> uh, I'm excited to read this. I believe this I'm, is a web comic. It's a badass cover. I love that. Uh, Time collects Harley Quinn 1 through 17 alongside two all new, never before seen stories from Veep writer David Mandel and superstar artist Adam Hughes. Yep. And from Harley's co creator Paul Dini. What? Wait, what? There's a lot of people working on that. Holy guacamole. Adam, I didn't know it's, that. It's oh, the front cover by um, what's this guy's name? I forgot. Is what now? Who did the, the cover for that? Cover? Yeah. I didn't realize Adam Hughes did the internals. That's sweet. Collection cover art by Jorge Jimenez. Jorge Jimenez. Nice. That guy is that guy's a monster. He's like one yep. of the best artists right now. He's DC's Ryan Otley, in my opinion. Is that right? I mean, I, mean, I have to say I'm not that familiar with his name. I'm I'm failing. But he, he, he did the Justice League run with um, Scott Snyder. And didn't he oh. do uh, Super Sons? He did a little Super Sons and uh, Batman right now with uh, Tinian. Okay, I haven't read that. But I read yeah, Super really uh, anime style. This just looks great. I'm excited. I got a lot of good books. And can't wait to read this. Batman Earth 1, Volume 3. 
soon to be on a batter days in the back cave. Yes, we actually talk about Batman books occasionally. Captain Marvel 3, 4, and 5. You're welcome. I already oh, see one coming soon. Mm -hmm. On the bus coming out. Thank yep. you for your sacrifice. This is, well, I felt like I had to support Kelly Thompson. This is like her longest running series. Nice. And Death Metal Deluxe. Oh, look at that. I love that cover. It's so shiny. <laughs> I know. I'm going to play the music I have for it while I'm reading it. And turn I it off immediately because it's not good reading music. <laughs> I didn't know you can get that book at Walmart, by the way. I saw it the other day. Yeah. Huh. It's, it's so weird. Because they, they had, like, super crappy books, and then all of a sudden, like, five uh, deluxe hardcovers of that. I'm like, oh, okay. Huh. I'd rather get them at InStockTrades.com, but cool. InStockTrades.com. How I love thee. <laughs> okay. Who's next? That was my haul. What about that other thing you got, Jess? You mean my chair? Your chair, yes. Let's uh, highlight it again. Boom. Sure. That's the biggest haul of all. That's cool. Thank you. Back support is key. Yeah. Damn it. I need one. Yeah, Joe. I'm going to do some gaming stuff. now because they're on sale. I moved my desk and in. And... Um, to make room for this thing. <clears throat> so people were asking in the chat earlier, what happened to the chair? The Oh, the old chair? Yeah. That did it retire worked. peacefully? It did retire peacefully. Did you take it out to the back and shoot it? I, did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. That is an heirloom from my wife's family. It's like a fourth generation chair or something. So oh, it's so you whittled it down in the picks. It's nestled gently in the basement. Mm. It's it's not very comfortable. <laughs> um, Nor is it as cool as a Batman branded chair. This is the lumbar support for the Omega. There, I don't. Well, wait. I, there might be. There might be a way to adjust. Let's see. That's the lever to make it go back, and I'm not going to do that because then everything would crash i don't think where'd you get it from secret lab i don't think this comes with adjustable lumbar support that's why they sent the pillow yeah gotcha yeah so i hauled major league very cool very I'm cool comfortable all right so uh let me show you guys what i got so check this out. I'm gonna start off with some really cool single issues for all the single issue fans in the chat. All the single uh, issues, especially if you're a uh, Sam Keith fan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that! Awesome <laughs> Marvel Comics presents issues uh, 117. I love Sam Keith is just amazing, especially this time here in the 90s before he was getting into the max. But look, look up! That is like the coolest looking Venom. Um, I think he can't really see too much on these covers, but I think he also does like one of the coolest looking uh, Wolverines also. Whoa, thick thighs Wolverine. Yeah, super hairy. Uh, there's other ones where he has, I love when he does like this like weird like spiral effect on the, on the, on the like ripped clothing. Uh, this is just, this is a same storyline, Wolverine versus Venom, but obviously not a Sam Keith cover. Uh... Here's something for you Max fans will probably kind of start seeing his Max style coming here with that creature. And I have all these. I spent the weekend bagging and boarding a bunch of comic books. Nice. I love with, doing that. I, uh, with, uh, I I have my light twos and I got full backs on these on these bad boys. Nice. So I'm gonna start getting most of my stuff in that in these kinds of bags. They're awesome. Not they're super tough. They're super. They're like the most clearest uh, bags I've ever I've ever used. Uh, and I love the full backs too. That's super fun. Uh, also, something that I think I remember being 
I, I, I remember enjoying and is like a very awesome series that nobody talks about anymore. Uh, and it's, it's kind of when I was talking about earlier about something I got that's kind of manga-esque. You guys remember The Imperfects? This isn't when I talked about it, super cool. But I got, when I'm talking about that, super cool. You guys remember the Sentinel storyline from uh, Marvel's Tsunami line? No. Jess, no? No. So the Sentinel is about, it's about a kid whose family owns like a, a junkyard. And he finds a, a, a active Sentinel in the junkyard and befriends it. So he makes friends with this giant Sentinel. And it's this awesome, cool story. It, it's it's not super like anime art. I mean, it's written and, and drawn uh, in the way that Jess can read it. So in the left to right format. Good. But it's just, it's such a cool story about a kid who becomes friends with the giant Sentinel. And the Sentinel is like his protector and everything. I feel like I just read a story recently about a kid and a Sentinel. Like a recent story. Oh, really? Yeah, this is really interesting. That book it, sounds really cool. Yeah, I remember it being really fun. This is in, uh, like I said, this is when Marvel was doing their own little kind of like, uh, it's called a tsunami line. And that's where we got runaways from. And I think that this book just kind of got overshadowed by the popularity of, of runaways, but it's an awesome, fantastic series. So I ordered these off of a guy off of eBay and he sent me this imperfect ones for free. Nice. Uh, I, I'll take it. Cool. I'll, I'll definitely take it. Um, it's not Alex Maleev, but the artist is actually is doing uh, his best Alex Maleev kind of impression. I was flipping through it. I go, is this Alex Maleev? Because the coverage is Jay Lee. All the covers are done by Jay Lee. And I, there was even a video game of uh, The Imperfects. I have no idea who these characters are or what, what's it about, but I'll take a free comic book anytime. Like I said, these are these are like manga sized. So that's super cool. Um, Avengers Academy. Derek Tyler's right. That's where the guy, the kid has a sentinel. Oh, maybe it's the same kid. <laughs> maybe yeah. it's a continuation of it. Uh, and then uh, Epic got the uh, final Epic collection called the Final Gauntlet. This is the final uh, Tom DeFalco and Ron Friends Thor storyline of uh, Eric Masterson as Thor. So it's that whole storyline along with the storyline of the uh, Thor core saga. And I just love the Epic collections. I've been talking about these things forever on the show. They're just, just great. It's, you know, you don't really get, this is such a great era of Thor where Eric Masterson took over as Thor for a while, but there's never really been any reprints. There's never really been any kind of like omnibus or any, any kind of talk or appreciation in a collected field for, for this run. So I'm glad that we now have the full run in uh, Epic Collection form. So that's uh, that's exciting, and uh, I'll just and that'll just kind of segue into uh, my reads. I'll do my reads real fast because I'm starting that run of the uh, Tom DeFalco Ron, Ron Friend nice. Epic Collections of Thor as well. And I mentioned it yes last week, and I'll just kind of finish it up because I finished it this time. Uh, Robbie Reyes is a uh, ghostwriter. I finished this complete collection. Great, great series. Wonderful run for I talked about it a lot last week. I enjoyed a ton of this book 100% of the way through up until uh, like the last like two or three issues where it gets completely sidetracked and completely overtaken, like I mean completely overtaken, where Robbie Reyes is not even in the book. Uh, it's completely overtaken by, I'm sorry, Jess, but I thought this was just okay. not fun or, or, or exciting, or I, I didn't really enjoy it. Uh, it was overtaken completely by uh, the all-new Wolverine and her sister Gabby. In the Ghost Rider book? In the Ghost Rider, like... like so this storyline was started out really cool where Robbie Reyes is a, is a mechanic in, in the hood of L.A. and a, a former gang member, mobster, serial killer, really terrible, terrible person, gets out of jail 
and gets a job at the auto shop that he's working at because the owner kind of owes him a favor and all this kind of stuff. And there was this really interesting storyline. And then, boom, out of nowhere, Ghost Rider disappears out of the story, and it just turns into uh, Gabby and and her sister and uh, Totally Awesome Hulk, which is uh, Armadeus Cho. And just for like two entire issues, two or three entire issues, is just this storyline of them hunting down uh, some monster creature. And it goes nowhere. Like, it, it just sidetracks the entire story. There's a part where they're in L.A. and they go to Las Vegas. And it seemed like it was just a forced way to get Silk into the storyline. And then they travel right back to East L.A. Like, they went to Vegas for no reason just to meet Silk. They came out and then they went right back into East L.A. storyline. And then you get Robbie Reyes towards the end fighting the creature and stuff like that. It just completely just left Left the series, so he, he took a break midway. It, like, <laughs> look, you're reading the, you're reading the issue. Oh, this issue's really good. You get about two three pages in, and then they show up and they completely like take over the series. It's almost like one of those like backdoor pilots from like a TV show. Oh yeah, where they got they kind of just loosely introduce these characters and they take over that episode. But it's for like three or four issues. Yeah, I'm hey, out. That's, that's Robbie. That's Robbie. He's like I'm out. Peace out. But it was a great cool storyline, and they just, and then they they really force in. This thing with Gabby and her sister and Amadeus Cho going after this this creature, and then the really good storyline about this uh, crazy killer that got a job at his place. They just wrap it up in like three pages, like for just totally sidetrack the entire storyline. So, boo! Oh, wow, what's the name of this book again? Because uh, I don't think it's in print anymore. It just came out. It's uh, Robbie Reyes. Oh, it just came out. Complete collection came out like a week or two ago. Oh, oh, oh! That's why I couldn't find it. Then. And right. well, somebody, somebody last week when I was talking about, it, and I was first reading because I, Robbie Reyes, I, I love this story. A lot of great stuff. A lot of touching moments that uh, is very personal to myself. And all, if I could just tear out those like <laughs> two or three issues with Wolverine and Gabby and Amadeus showing it, uh, this this would be a hundred percent fantastic collection. But outside of that, I definitely recommend it. it great art, great story. I, I really love it, Robbie Reyes. I'm going to kind of follow his storyline. I think he goes into the Avengers a little bit after this. Uh, but yeah, those just those parts with uh, Gabby and Wolverine. That is weird. Uh, all I can say is two thumbs down. <laughs> That's a great one. And uh, all right, so that's my reads and my hauls. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't read much. All right, I read We Live Volume Ooh, One. I forgot about that. Oh, this I is, really want to read that. This is amazing. Tell From me Miranda about it. Tell me on it. Uh, well, first of all, the art is fantastic, it's a dystopian tale where the earth has been ruined and an alien race to give us a second chance sends these special bracelets to 1,000 children to um, be transported um, uh, to a different world and keep the human race going. Uh, and it's about these kids, and you have to make it to the um, destination where um, you will meet. Uh, it's it's the place where they're going to pick you up in in some way, and it's a, it's a story about how these kids have to um, journey from where they are to get to the destination to be transported by the alien race. And what happens to them along the way? Um, they start out with a big party, and it slowly gets smaller till it's just our main characters. Um, and they have these arm bracelet things on them that are embedded into their DNA. Um, and it shows a bunch of elders of the universe deciding on giving earth a second chance and these 
kids and their journey, the, the earth has been populated by a bunch of really strange, weird, and wild creatures. Look at this page. Whoa. This is our, these are the main characters on their journey at night. Did the you scan it? Uh, that was the QR code do. What's the QR code? Does it, does it give you a menu for uh, a local um, bar? It gives you music to listen to for that particular arc. Uh, what? Or those, and they're all throughout the story. The hell? It, that's cool, but that's not for me, man. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's music that goes along with the story. What kind of wizardry is this? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, wait, hold it up to the screen. What happens? If, can I scan it through the screen? Yeah, yeah. I think you. Yeah, right there. there oh, perfect. Okay, yeah, no, it's, a, it's a YouTube thing. Demonetized. Yeah, and it goes along with this scene. Okay, so it makes it more interactive. Yeah, it's yeah. very interactive. There's plenty of bad guys, uh, some really good guys. Here's one of the creatures that's populating the earth now. Nice. All kinds of crazy creatures. Um, I, this Here's the elders meeting, trying to decide what to do about earth now that we've ruined it. Um, this book, there's five issues, um, and the first four are... I think they're just going to use Earth as uh, kind of like a storage closet where they put things they don't want anymore, like old family heirloom chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some uh, Cosmic Secret Lab gaming chairs. So the first four issues... Um, are de devoted to the journey and when they get there. And then the fifth is the start of a completely new story arc. So, um, oh, I'm sorry, it's 5,000 children that are picked. Um, and so the, the fifth issue, you can stop on the fourth issue if you want, because the fifth issue is the beginning of, of uh, the children being taken up by the uh, saviors and taken um, to their, their future destiny. Uh, this this book is easily in my top three right now of everything I've read. Actually, thank you to Tommy from Yellow Snow Comics who sent this to me. Don't eat the yellow snow. That's right. He's a great guy, and that's a great comic store. But this book is incredible it has all the feels you could possibly want all the action and adventure and imagination is that aftershock sorry to yeah. butt in cool. aftershock yeah and the art is remarkable it's done by a brother team the, the miranda brothers and i'm pretty sure this thing's already won an eisner somebody uh, said it was, it was nominated for one okay it's been nominated for one um I can't say enough about this book. It's it's the one of the top three things I've read this year. And if the story keeps going like it has, it's going to be one of the most amazing things I've ever read. Oh, man, it's going to be uh, there's, uh, something for the Omnis later. The, I, if, if the second volume is as good as the first, I just... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to explode because <laughs> this, this deserves, I will totally upgrade and get a library size edition or something from Aftershock because this is just, um, it's got everything possibly fun in a comic. Everything, romance, action, adventure, sadness, tears, hope, happiness, great art, great writing. Uh, it's just unbelievably great. Is, is this out of print? Because I no, want it just came out. It just came out. All right. Yeah, no, it, it's still easy to get. I, if somebody doesn't like this, I understand that tastes are different. But you should quit comics if you don't like this. I mean, <laughs> seriously, quit comics and take up bowling. Uh, then I also read Sir, volumes one and two of Generation X. Um, nice. I love this. This was really good. This is for, I would say, the medium 
to a, above X Reader. Two years ago, I wouldn't have understood this because there's so many characters in here that, I mean, it's it's led by Jubilee, who's a you know a vampire and a mother, and Shogo and everything, and um, she's helping train these young kids. And Quentin Quire's one of them. He's so easy to hate, but um, the author. This is the first thing I've read by her. Uh, Christina Strain actually makes him somewhat sympathetic because everybody knows Quentin Quire is just one of the most arrogant jerks. Um, <laughs> so this is at the X-Men um, Academy. It's in Central Park now. And um, I thought this was great. I love this a lot. Are you saying that Quentin Quire is a Damian Wayne of the X-Men? I think he's even worse than that. <laughs> he's way worse than that. And Duped teaches a class and speaks in Dupees. It's awesome. <laughs> I love that time frame when Wolverine had the uh, the school. Yeah. Um, I think Rogue is... Wait, who's running it? Rogue? So, wait. Is Dupe teaching advanced mutant sexuality? Yes. And it's really funny. <laughs> Uh, wait, is Rogue running it? Uh, Jubilee is the one that Jubilee is in charge of these kids who, all, of course, go out of their way at night to find all sorts of trouble. Um, and they find it. And it's got some of the, it's got one of the cuckoos, Junior Kitty. Kitty Pride is in charge. And so it's volumes one and two. I highly recommend both of these. Really fun X Men stuff. But you have to know medium, medium X Men knowledge. I love Husk. Husk. Is Other, cool. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll you'd be lost. Uh, but I recommend these, and that's all I read. All right. Thank you. Cool. Uh, you guys want to get into previews? We're already an hour and fifteen minutes into this bad boy. Let's do it. I had Myco two three five on eBay. We live was sent to me from Yellow Snow Comics because he's a friend of mine. Uh, he may have had it before it's been released to the general public. Not sure. Promised one is buying it right now. Awesome. We die. No, it's not. <laughs> it's only. I don't even know if issue six is out yet. We die. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so previews previews oh poop all right let's get into previews this week guys uh so this is all the fun stuff coming out this week uh week of june 16th uh let's see what we got here just you read ice cream man i do and what i'm doing you a favor by buying all of the trades uh, to get a hardcover of it? Oh, this is definitely getting a hardcover. This is wildly popular. Oh, wait. What's this? Jim Lives, Mystery of the Lead Singer of the Doris Tree Paperback. Jim Morrison isn't dead. He's hiding out in Italy. I saw him with my own eyes. No way. He's doing. If he is, he's doing heroin somewhere. Really? <laughs> oh, boy. Somebody's going to read that and, and think it's real and Oh, yeah. I mean, people still think Elvis is alive or Tupac or. Hey, Elvis is alive. In all of our hearts. Uh, Dark Horse got another awesome Helsing Deluxe Edition coming out this week. It's the final one. Oh, there's only three? Yep. Sweet. It's a short series. Ooh, World of Black Hammer. World of Black Hammer Library Edition Hardcover. Uh, volume three. Uh, I don't want to put any fear in anybody's yep. hearts or anything like that, but <laughs> I was just going to say that. Yeah, <laughs> these things are infamous for going out of print like, and selling out day one. Oh, like, really? Day, day, day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't know so much about a volume three, but I think every time we've ever talked about Black Hammer coming out, it's always like, when's it coming back in stock? When's it back in stock? Who got it? Did, it, did this even come out? What happened? Oh, so. I didn't know that. Uh, IDW this week's got a Voyage to the Stars. 
Marvel. Let's see what we got here going to Marvel. We got Captain America Bicentennial Battles trade paperback. Is this uh, this has got to be the, the Jack Kirby style? Because I know the uh, 1977s when 1976 that is is when Kirby kind of came back around. Yeah, it is all Jack Kirby stuff, I think. He even has a bicentennial calendar for 1976. A Jack Kirby giant size spectacular. Also for Marvel, we got the uh, new reprint of the Heroes Reborn omnibus of all things. I remember everybody made fun of me and made fun of this book for even coming <laughs> out. And it went out of print. <laughs> became kind of a, a little bit of a whale for a moment. And what's, what sucks or is great is this Jim Lee cover that I wish would have been on the first printing of this. Oh, and you didn't get it? And then it came, it, it, it wasn't, there wasn't a uh, this cover when it first came out. Mm -hmm. So I'm half tempted to buy it, switch out the dust jackets, and sell the other one. Yeah, do it. I would do that. I can't replace the book because I got a Jim Lee sketch in mine. Oh, wow. So I really would uh, like a, a Jim Lee dust cover for it, too. So if somebody wants to trade dust jackets. Yes. Let us know. If you if, Yeah, somebody wants the uh, Brett Booth cover and you don't want the Jim Lee one, <laughs> holler at your boy. <laughs> And uh, Marvel Masterworks, uh, Daredevil, we're getting the Frank Miller stuff. This is the stuff that changed Daredevil forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And once again, proves my hypothesis that ninjas make everything better. <laughs> totally. Yep. Daredevil was like a low rung, bi monthly, almost canceled book. Frank Miller jumps on, introduces some ninja action in the hand and Electra and stick. And now look at it. Ninjas make everything better. Taylor Talks Comics has an important question. Do you see it there? I, Do I don't. Oh, maybe Geo can. I know. This is important. <laughs> Do we have the IST list. Is Madman Limited Edition Volume 1 going to be on IST tomorrow? If you search separately in previews, it shows 616. But it's not in the list you're looking at now. That's the actually the library edition. It's supposed to come out tomorrow. Oh, the library edition? My bad. Yeah, it's all right. It's the beginning of six volumes of library editions by um, Allred for Madman. Oh, is it all the original stuff? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's going to be six volumes. And I don't have the IST list. We need to start getting it again. Because it's supposed to get posted on the uh, in the group, but I don't think anybody's posting it, so I it don't. Has, know. Yeah, it, it hasn't been sent, so we assume uh, what we see on previews is what we're getting. It's all we can really go off of. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should reach out to IST and ask for them to send it to one of us. Okay, I can do that tomorrow. Thank I'll you. put that on my calendar. Oh, uh, Power Pack. I'm out of here. I'm going home, Yay. guys. I'm going home. Power Pack. Yay. <laughs> God, look at this Power Pack. So Power exciting. Pack on the bus volume two. There's two covers to it. There's even a Power Pack trade paperback for powers that be. So exciting. <laughs> Yay. Power Pack. I can hardly contain, contain my enthusiasm. <laughs> Or power pack. But on a positive note, we got some Thor by Donny Cates. There you go. I bet the worst of this of this Thor stuff is better than the best of that power pack. <laughs> power pack. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh Thor by Jason Aaron complete collection. Uh what what volume is this? Brad Molesky says, my Madman library pre-order popped up on my IST order history today, so I believe yes tomorrow. That's that's positive news. Thank you, Brad, for saying that. Because I'm kind of interested in checking. I've never read Madman before, but it's my call red art. It's a library edition. I mean, that's that checks all the all the boxes. Yeah. 
Uh, Dynamite, uh, Army of Darkness, and Xena. Omnibus. Omnibus. Soft power, but still not the best. Black Terror. Chastity. Blood Consequences. Can, can you highlight that? Because I want to see that uh, cover. Yeah, it's a cool looking cover. I don't know what the hell that book's about. But... Oh, it's Leo Williams, our favorite X Men writer. Oh, there you go. Um, Chastity Jack. I oh, she's been kidnapped to the great misfortune of her kidnappers. Hmm. Uh, the sound of that. Because somebody. Uh, because uh, so, any of the uh, Rob Liefeld haters make fun of this too for not having any legs or feet. Yep. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah. It's not even like it's cut off by the cover. It is just completely. They just stopped. Yeah. Uh, twenty fifth anniversary. Oh, chaos. Twenty fifth anniversary. Got it. I have never heard of this, but that's a cool cover. That is cool. Besides the uh, the weird thing with the legs. Yeah. That's that sweet. book sounds amazing. Spooky cruise ship in the middle of nowhere. Oh. Kidnapped by human traffickers. Chastity Jack. Declined. Declines the offer. <laughs> Your offer is declined. Grindhouse style. Cool. I'm getting it. Uh, Pathfinder. Uh, for anybody that plays Pathfinder, I guess. Is that based on the movie? Because there was a no, movie called Pathfinder, uh, right? Pathfinder is uh, is that a game? <laughs> it's like a D. It's like D and D. Oh, D and D. At one point, from my understanding, they kind of changed the rules and made it really difficult to play. And Pathfinder was more based on like the older engine, I guess, of D and D. And people, a lot of people, went over the Pathfinder. But you yeah. know, you know about the movie, right? There's a I, Pathfinder movie. I don't know about it. About uh, uh, Vikings landing in america and they get on a fight with indians i don't know something like that i think there was a really awesome toy in the 90s called pathfinder oh professor flex the movie definitely was based on the game thank you can oh, you highlight like rafael miranda at 923 pretty sad the dick fight island wasn't in anyone's halls <laughs> <laughs> it totally slipped my mind if people really <laughs> want me to review that um i don't know i'll i'll do it one day but i'm in for some uh some dick punch island or Dick Fight, whatever. Dick Fight Island. Jack Off Fight Island, whatever. <clears throat> uh, Boom Studios got Angel and Spike trade paperback volume dos. Uh, and then here we go. We got some uh, the ancillary manga and fun, cool stuff here. Look at this Hugo yeah. Pratt. Manga, you can go back to their previous episode, manga related, covered all the stuff in June. So we don't need to all go right, over that today. You. Oh, there's another 20th Century Boys Perfect Edition? That is the final volume. Oh, it confused me because it said volume one. Yeah, it's just one. They're two and ones, but that's just the one thing. I'm confused. It's 20th Century Boys, and then there's one 21st Century Oh, this is 21st Boys. Century. Okay, that's yeah. okay. It went into the next century. I get it. Yep. Uh, Carmen San Diego, uh, the San need Diego. for speed. Capper. Anybody remember the uh, We're in the World's Carmen San Diego game? Oh, yeah. I, I remember the world in time. Where in time is Carmen San Diego? Anybody, like, you, anybody remember the game show that was on TV? Yep. Yep. I watched it. I sure did too. Oh, dude, Fist of North Star comes out this week. Yep. It's a Hell high yeah. profile release. Hells yeah. I got this on uh, pre-order. Nice. It's like the manga equivalent of Mad Max, but with more testosterone. I love it. Dude, I remember I was dating this girl way back in the day. This is like 20 years ago. And she was like, you ever see Fist of North Star before? And I was like, no. And she was like, we got to watch it. You need to watch it right now. And we sat down <laughs> and I was like, well, what is this? He makes people like explode from the inside because they're bleeding. Like, this is awesome. It makes like their <laughs> yeah. blood boil. This is bitching. It's badass. It's high intense, like just it's like it's like a uh, Akira type action, but like on steroids. Mm -hmm. Some Judge yep, Dread for you today. Oh, just, okay. Yeah, Thank you, Kaiju Money Core, or I'm uh, sorry, Score. Kaiju Score. Oh, that that's from Aftershock. I, I want to read that too. Can you highlight that? Is why not? Yeah. Um, 
Is this the same like Kaiju Max? It's they're planning a heist, but it there's giant monsters involved. Uh, let's see, four desperate criminals are going all in on a once in a lifetime chance to steal millions in art and turn their miserable lives around the catch. They have to pull it off under the nose of a 1,000 ton kaiju, <laughs> and a giant monster might just be the least of their problems. Oh, that's awesome. That sounds fun. Kaiju score is what happens when a Quentin Tarantino takes place smack uh, in the middle of a Godzilla movie. So, yeah. I want to read that. that Not bad. Fun. The first four issues for 17 bucks. And film rights acquired by Sony Pictures. Oh, I could see that being a movie. Yep. Oh, it's already been acquired? Yeah. Yep. Kitty Quest. Oh, Maisoni Koku. That's a good uh, one. Looks like a uh, tennis manga. It's a famous uh, romantic comedy. Oh, is it about tennis? <laughs> no. Oh, the cover's <laughs> lying to me. Well, she plays tennis, but it's not about tennis. Monster Friends, now? What's now about? Fanographics. Cool. F Fanographics. <laughs> <laughs> but they're awesome signed book plates. Yeah. I see that stuff all the time. Not only does like fanographics do it, but uh, I really hate it when uh, any company says, "Oh, it's signed by the by so and so, signed by the creator," and you look inside the book and it's just like a sticker <laughs> that they signed. I go, "That's not signed by the creator. He signed a bunch of stickers and you stuck it in the book. That that's, right. that doesn't Super count. Lazy. Right? It doesn't count at all. No, he never touched the book." <laughs> Some more manga. It's a big week of manga, but all that matters is that Fist of the North Star. Yep. Start grubs. Yeah, everybody should get Fist of the North Star. Hardcover. Looks beautiful. Yeah, that's kind of going to be one of those things like when Berserk came out or Helsing first came out and it was just an immediate bye bye. Yeah. All and right. let's see what we got coming out from DC. Check this out. Not a whole lot, just three books. I'm not kidding. Uh, all right. So this is coming out, uh, Teen Titans Beast Boy hardcover. Oh, those Cami Garcia books are cool. Yeah. I think that's already been out. But this is the hardcover edition. Oh, okay. Is that a signed book plate? A <laughs> signed sticker. <laughs> a signed so, post-it note. <laughs> we're <laughs> getting funny. Future State, the next Batman. I'm going to uh, wait. And finally, yes, I said finally. Batman Volume 3 Ghost Stories, hardcover oh. from James Tinney on the fourth. I'm getting that. That's it. Can you highlight the Jenny Frasan Catwoman cover? Oh, this, yeah. That's boss. That looks. Oh, cool. that's a throwback to the Jim Ballant stuff. Yep. It, oh, is it? It's an homage? I don't know about it being like an homage, but that's the, that's the Jim Ballant suit. Oh, okay. I love her art. That's it. That's it. Else. All right. Good job. Pretty lame week from DC. Unless yeah. you want to read Scooby Doo. Is anybody uh anybody in the chat? Did you anybody read the future state stuff? Oh, wait a minute. Jess, you want to read this? Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow from Tom King. Is oh, she has a sword. Oh, it's Tom King. That's a that's a must acquire. Yeah. And look at this. Oh, that's cover. right. Yeah, he's starting Supergirl. Gary Frank. Ooh, there's look at your boy. Oh right there. What's this about? Gary Frank gives everybody a resting bitch face. <laughs> Even <laughs> look, at, look at the Supergirl. She's just like, oh. Crypto has it too. Yeah. Um, Kara has seen some epic adventures over the years, but finds her life without meaning or purpose. Here she is, a young woman who saw her planet destroyed and was sent to Earth to protect a baby cousin who ended up not needing her. What was it all for? Uh, da -da -da -da. Her world has been destroyed. A oh, an alien girl seeks out her uh, seeks her out for a vicious mission. Her world has been destroyed and the bad guys responsible are still out there. She wants revenge and if Supergirl doesn't help her, she'll do it herself, whatever the cost. Now a Kryptonian, a dog, and an angry heartbroken child head out into space on a journey that will shake them to their very core. 
uh, crypto has the same face that my dog mates makes <laughs> she eats like the wrong type of food like if my kids <laughs> drop like some raisins or something bad she's not supposed to eat um it's tom king so you know it's gonna deal with uh ptsd and stuff so yeah someone's gonna commit suicide in the first issue or something oh my it goodness. makes sense because her world exploded i get it that's that's a tom king book right there uh real quick uh that superman red and blue not that one no oh, the one okay. simerson cover looks dope yeah oh it's a uh it's a beta ray bill homage i get it mm -hmm. i don't know if anybody's reading this but i wonder if it's it's probably not it's not the cool 90s red and blue energy superman it's probably but you know Uh, James, you kind of hinted at it a we lot already did. today. Yeah. yeah, we did. We we spelled it out even. We didn't hint at it. We went there. <laughs> we went there. We didn't get, we didn't get specific no. on on the weird decisions they made about uh, relationships. <laughs> yes, there it is. <laughs> there it is, everybody. Did you throat cancer? <laughs> According to Michael Douglas, yeah, uh, Catherine Zeta Jones, uh, worth worth <laughs> worth the risk. <laughs> so you can get those books and more at the fabulous .com, where you can get your collected editions up to fifty percent off. Loyalty discounts add two percent to that. The end of every month, we give away a fifty dollar gift card. Given to us by InStockTrades.com to give away to a lucky viewer out there. Anybody can participate, but if you put your name in twice or more, you are automatically disqualified. Wow. <laughs> and we will send drones to your house. Fifty dollars or more in an order gets you free shipping in the U.S. of A. Fabulous customer service, fabulous packaging. That's InStockTrades.com. Nice. Get wait. that uh, Fist of Fury. No, wait. Fist of North Star. Fist of Fury. Where did that come from? Fist of North Star. And uh, what else is coming out of this? Oh, that uh, Madman. Those seem to be the, uh, I think those are going to be the big books this week. Madman, yes. Uh -huh. I have Atomica and Gargantua, but I may still get, I am going to get Madman 1 through 6 anyway. Because I want to get that stuff because, again, I've never read it before, but it always looked really cool and interesting to me. But I think I was uh, too snobby when that first came out to really care about it because it was an indie mm. kind of uh, adventure. So I think it originally came out from Tundra, from Kevin Eastman's Tundra uh, publishing line. But, like, yeah, that, that Gigantua and any of the collected stuff is just impossible to find. Like, Mike doesn't seem to go back and reprint any of that stuff. So get it while you can. I'm a huge fan, but it's definitely a different book. It's very different. You did you have to have a good sense of twisted humor because it's odd. I I like oddball stuff, but it's not for everybody. Derek Tyler, I I, I hope you're happy with your choices. <laughs> I, hope, I hope it brings you a lot of enjoyment. Power good on the madman, though. Good job on the madman, but. Oh. I oh. don't think so, Chase. I don't think so. I've thrown in the towel and I bought the paperbacks. Power pack, two thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the We Live trade. Yeah, paper. like why haven't why hasn't DC finished collecting Tom King's Batman? It's so That's lame. Cool. It's been a year since volume five. It's, it's probably longer, right? Did that come out during the pandemic? I thought that came yeah, out before. Well, last summer, like last May or June or something. Really? Oof. It's been a year, and volume six is just not showing up on any solicits. So I threw in the towel. Taylor's still hoping, but I threw in the towel. <laughs> totally. Uh, that last arc is... Like it is. That last arc is amazing. Thank you for asking, Marcel. Yes. I could probably see them. I see those ones that have like a like a, a recliner to it too. <laughs> oh, this is very important. 
James, you rock. Manga only this week. Fist of the North Star, 21st Century Boys, Maze on Koku, and A School Frozen in Time. I want to get A School Frozen in Time, but uh, I don't really have any room for it. So. Rick, Gio, are you you thank you. Hit that like button on your way out, guys. Gio, are you going to get Fist of the North Star? Should we do a review on that? I got it. It, it just hasn't arrived yet. They already shipped it from the other place <laughs> for the manga. Amazon. Uh, no, uh, right no? stuff. Oh, right stuff. Okay. Yeah. Because I order a lot of anime, so I packed in the manga with the anime. Uh, I pre ordered mine on Amazon because I was like, I don't want to miss out on that because I know how these things just disappear. I wonder if they shipped it yet. Oh, you know what I got? Uh, Ratchet and Clank for the PlayStation 5. Oh, that's cool. That game looks gorgeous. I love all the Ratchet and Clank. the sole reason I wanted the PlayStation 5. When they showed off the game for the first time, with the system, I'm like that. I wanted for that because oh. I didn't really care about the other stuff. Uh, I'm excited. I can't wait for that to arrive. So I can. So, play. according to my Amazon, I'm getting Fist of North Star tomorrow. Ooh, nice! Can you highlight Raphael at 9:37, please? Uh, here, there we go. Yes. Tom Taylor in DC's excellent Suicide Squad, Constantine and Justice and Deceased. Is he as good in Marvel? Only Wolverine. Is it a must buy? Uh, the answer is yes. yes. All New Wolverine is one of my all-time favorite books. It is 100% fun. It is absolutely a must-buy. Take it from Omnidog. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Tom Taylor nails it in All New Wolverine. Super fun. I wish he would have did the uh, all new Wolverine stuff in that Robbie Reyes book. So. Not the Robbie Reyes. <laughs> yeah, I I guess it shouldn't have been in Robbie Reyes's book, but in all new Wolverine, so fun, so great. Yeah, thanks. I'm it's like a drunk person who goes up to a wedding and just takes the microphone and won't shut up. <laughs> have you guys played the Resident Evil Village? I haven't yet. Looks really cool. Death rattle. All right. Uh, I'm ready to get out of here. If you guys are, I need to eat dinner. I'm starving. Peace right. and love. Where can we find you, Gabe? Uh, Gabe loves '90s comics on Instagram. Uh, hit me up there, guys. Uh, Gio, where where can I find you, bro? Peace and love. Peace and love. Gio has two channels. Whoa, I got more than two channels. What? What? But I'm not gonna say the names of those channels. They're a burner. Bastard. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of channels on the internet, but mostly you can find me on a Week in Geekdom, where I talk about anime, comics, and manga. This Wednesday, I'm going to do a live stream talking about all the anime that I've been watching on the spring 2021 season. So if you want to join me on that, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I talk about comics and manga too. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> and you can also follow me on uh, Geo's Arcade, which is mostly video game based, but I'm not really uploading a lot of content on there maybe tomorrow with the nintendo presentation we'll see but yeah but we can geek them Dio's arcade all that fun stuff geo's accounts are there just to give omar's videos thumb downs thumbs downs thumbs downs down thumbs i yeah. that that you said it i didn't say anything <laughs> i admit nothing and you can find me omnidog and omnidog's vault on youtube and omnidog's underscore vault on Instagram, where I feature my new chair a lot. There's your red room, Chase Chew. Hell yeah. There we go. <laughs> now I gotta give you some cryptocurrency to see you rip people's skin off their faces. Oh, gosh. I could have done without that. Okay, everybody. We had a great show. Great chat. Everybody had fun. And the answer is Laura. She's the best. Uh, peace and love, peace and love. Good night. Bye. Bye, everybody. Uh, wait, 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 wait. My bad, my bad. Gabriel, <clears throat> because uh, different, um, how do, how do you say this? Uh, it's different, uh, publishing, different, uh, distributors. Uh, all that manga places like Right Stuff, they get it, uh, earlier than stores like in stock trades and all the other stuff so that's why yeah same so reason as uh, uh why comic book stores will get uh omnibuses before amazon most of the yeah. time yeah yeah Perfect. good to eat good good for a tea nice
Get on all new Wolverine. Peace and love. Peace and love. Now, now we're going. Now we're going. <laughs> Bye. I hate all new Wolverine. Thank you, Robbie Ray. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> stupid silk and stupid. Ow. Totally not Shut awesome. Up. I'm going to kill 